Hey guys, and welcome to the video. Here today, we are going to focus primarily on Codebreaker for PS2. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we did a video here a while back showing you how to put Codebreaker version 10 into a PS2 ISO. You can then run that ISO on a modded PS3, whether with HEN or custom firmware, and you can get into Codebreaker before the game launches and then set up your cheats or whatever. Modded Warfare did pretty much the exact same video and the steps are almost identical, except it's for PS4. So if you have a modded PS4 and want to play PS2 games, the steps are pretty much the same to insert Codebreaker version 10 into the PS2 ISO before it's converted over into a package file. And the only thing that's mainly different are just the Codebreaker files themselves. Those are set up for PS4. Anyway, since these videos came out in his comment section and in mine and on various forums or whatever, I've seen people ask, can this be done with like GameShark or Action Replay Max or whatever? Unfortunately, right now, the answer is no, you cannot. You can only insert or embed Codebreaker into the PS2 ISOs at this time, but there is a way to convert the codes from those other uh, cheat devices or cheat software like GameShark and Action Replay and AR Max. You can convert them over either yourself or there is a site we're going to go to that I'm going to show you where they've done pretty much most of the work already for you. So first we're going to go to the site and then I'm going to show you how to convert the files over. What I'm not going to show you is how to use the Codebreaker program itself. There's a million and one tutorials and it's very easy and straightforward. These tutorials have been around forever, so we're not going to cover that. We're just going to focus on uh, showing you where the codes are that have been converted for you already and or how to do them yourself on your PC. So let's go ahead and get started. And the site we'll be going to is gamehacking.org. This one has been around for a long time, I think 20, 21 years, something like that. There's a lot of interesting content here. I suggest if you ever have time, you may want to come and give it a look, spend a little bit of time here and see what they have to offer. We are focused on PS2 games and Codebreaker though for this tutorial, so let's do that. Now you can search for your PS2 games here in the search bar, or we can do it this way, go to Sony, go to PlayStation 2. And the reason why I'm going to do it that way is because there is a code converter that pops up and you can use this, but it's a little bit kind of, I think more complicated and more a little bit convoluted. So the method I'm going to show you, even though it requires a PC, is far more easier and simpler than this. So once you're here at your PS2 logo, the games are listed in alphabetical order, or you can just search for the game. Now, I was already searching for Soul Calibur 3. So it's there. I'm just going to type Soul Calibur. And there is Soul Calibur 3 down at the bottom. And the ISO I have is for the USA version. So this is the one I'm going to get here NTSC U. And there is, I think, 806 codes for that uh, ISO or for that version of Soul Calibur 3. So let's click on that. And there we go. We're at the codes page. So here at the cheats or code page, you'll have the name of the game right here. You'll see even the game ID right there. Let's scroll down a bit and you'll see this game has a lot of cheats. So let's go into one of these. Let's go into miscellaneous codes. And this particular section has a ton of cheats here. Now, the way this site works is that anytime you see Codebreaker V7 Plus, that means that those codes that are listed to the right, those codes will work on any version of Codebreaker that is version 7 or higher. So they will work on Codebreaker version 10, like the one I mentioned earlier in the video that you would use for PS3 or PS4 when you want to play PS2 games on them and you want to embed it into those ISOs. These codes that say V7 Plus will work on version 10. And you can see there's a lot of them here and the codes are here off to the right and you just enter them straight into Codebreaker. 
However, you will run occasionally into something like this. Let's go to game speed codes. This one only has three codes in this section, but they're all for AR Max, which is Action Replay Max. And notice the codes here are for Action Replay Max. However, this site does a pretty good job about converting all of the codes for you. All you need to do is go to where the cheat is and just click on the little info box and you'll get a list here of all the cheat devices and there is the code breaker version 7 plus and when you click on it here are the codes already done for you you will always use the ones in the encrypted box you just enter them straight into code breaker as is and this particular one has four lines of code you have to enter and that's pretty much it that's how this site works whenever you come across codes that you want to enter into Codebreaker for PS2, even if you don't see Codebreaker V7 Plus here, just click on the info. For example, this one here that says, let's go to this one that says it's for GameShark uh, version 3.4. When we click on the info and then we click on Codebreaker V7 Plus, there is the code you enter right into Codebreaker right there. So you don't have to go through all that trouble. However, occasionally you might run into a situation, I don't think we'll run into it here, but uh, you might get a box that's blank with nothing in it, or it might say codes not available. Or maybe you found the cheat for AR Max or GameShark or something from another site and that code or that game isn't even listed on here. How do you use it in Codebreaker or how do you convert it? Well, in order to do that, we need a PC with Windows and you're going to use a small little piece of software. So let's go ahead and move on over to that. All right. So what we're going to be using today is a small little program called Omni Convert and it's pretty much standalone. It doesn't require you to install anything on your PC. You can run it from your desktop. I believe you can even run it from like a USB device or storage. Um, so yeah, you can just extract it from the zip file and you can place that folder anywhere you want or place these two files anywhere you want as long as they're together in the same folder. You may have to run it as an administrator though in order for it to work correctly. So let's go ahead and launch the exe file and when we launch it you get this small tiny window. I wish there was a way to make it larger. Anyway uh, on the right side the right window pane is the output section since we're focusing on code breaker what we're going to do is we're going to go to the output tab here select code breaker and pick version 7 plus common keys make sure it's checked i've already done it and up here it will say code breaker version 7 common which it does it might be kind of hard to see though because it's really small and then the left side will always be your input window here's where you would input the codes of the device that you're getting the codes from. So let's go ahead and make a uh, quick example or two here so you get the idea of how this works. All right, so for our example, let's go ahead and head back to gamehacking.org. And let's say you came across a code like this one for AR Max, and let's pretend that it didn't have a code breaker uh, code that was already done for you. So you came here and the box was empty, or you got this code from somewhere else. You simply grab the code, remember which device it's for. In this case, it's AR Max, uh, which is Action Replay Max. Go ahead and copy the code. Then let's head on over back to Omni Convert, go into the input window, which is the left side, simply paste your code there. And since this is Action Replay Max, go into input, pick Action Replay, make sure you click on Max, which it's already done. It says Action Replay Max. This side will say Code Breaker version 7. We already covered that a couple of minutes ago. And then all you have to do is just click Convert and that's it. It will spit out a code on this side. Now, sometimes the lines or the amount of lines of code will not match, and that's perfectly fine. You might just put one line here and it'll spit out like three or four lines on this side. That's perfectly normal or vice versa. So don't worry about it. And that's it. That's all you have to do. These are the codes you would type straight into your code breaker version seven or version 10. And that's it, it's that easy. 
And the last thing we're going to cover real quick is what if you want to make sure that you're doing things correctly and that your Omni Convert is working properly and converting the codes over the way it should and that, you know, you're just doing the steps correctly. Now, obviously, to check an actual code that goes into Code Breaker, you have to put it in there and then try it in the game just to make sure it works. But you want to make sure that the conversion process is working correctly. Well, you can kind of sort of check that out using gamehacking.org. So let's go back there and let's come here. Let's go to this um, cheat here that's Infinite Gold. This one is by GameShark uh, by Mad Cats. And let's copy this code here. Okay, let's copy that one. Let's go back to Omni Convert. Let's clear out everything there and there. Okay, let's hit paste. And this is Game Shark, okay, by Mad Cats, and it's version 3.4. And this one on this side still says Codebreaker version 7, which is fine. Let's hit convert. And here is the code it kicked out. So let's go ahead and copy this code. We're gonna bring it here to our notepad and just paste it there. Let's go back to gamehacking.org. Let's come here to info. Let's click on Code Breaker, and this code here should be the exact same code that we just got from Omni Convert. So let's go ahead and let's paste it. And there we go, and it matches exactly. So we know that we are using Omni Convert properly and it's converting the codes properly. So just in case you have doubt or anything like that, that is a way to check it using this site because the correct codes are already here. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you found anything here informative, useful, helpful, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation towards the channel, you know the best way to do any of that stuff is to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It goes a long way to keep me motivated to continue to bring you content on this channel. I'm working on a few different tutorials right now, so those will start coming out this week and next. Much love going out to everybody. Be careful, be safe, but have fun, and we'll see you on the next one.